how to add in-app purchases and in-app subscriptions to your Flutter app. I will show you exactly how you can monetize your Flutter app by displaying some products to the users that they can buy as a one-time payment or on a subscription basis which is then automatically renewed on a monthly or yearly basis. For this, we will use the powerful platform Glassify to manage our in-app purchases, subscriptions and paywalls. All in all, we will follow the official documentation of the Flutter and the Glass 5 for integrating in-app purchases and subscriptions. So before we start this, first let's go to the Glass 5 official website and then click on build for free button to create a new Glass 5 account. And after filling your information and also checking the agreement with the terms of services and privacy policy, we will click on the next button and then in this page we will give our app name here and after that we will again click on next button. Now here in this page we can give a company name here or else we can skip to create our Glassify account. Now after creating our account you can see here we are in the quick start section and if you notice down here we have some steps by these steps we can configure the in-app purchases and also the in-app subscription. So now we can start with the first step to configure the Glassify SDK in our Flutter app. Therefore, inside our Flutter app, we will go to the popspec.yaml file and then under the dependencies, we will include the Glassify Flutter package. Next step is initializing the Glassify SDK inside our Flutter app. Therefore, here inside our purchase API class, which I have already created it, first I will define our API key here, which we can get it from here. And then we can initialize Glassify SDK here using our API key. After that, we need to go to the main page and call the init method here in our main function. Next, we can go to the next step which is set up our store. So in this video, I will show you how you can configure the Google Play Store. And here we will then configure the products that the user can later buy on your Android platform. Next, as a prerequisite for this video is that we need to add here this winding billing permission inside of your Android manifest. Another prerequisite for continuing with this video is that you need to have your Flutter app already released on the Google Play console. If you don't have a release inside of the testing track or inside of this production track, then simply watch the video that I have linked under this video in the description. And with this, you will learn how you can put your Flutter application inside the Google Play console. Alright, let's get started by going inside of the All Apps section and and then we go here to the setup section to the API access and here we make sure to choose the create a new Google Cloud project and then click on the save button. After that here we should click on create new service account in the service account section. And after this we need to click on this Google platform link. Next we need to click on this create service account and then give it some name that we like and also click then on create and continue. Here in step 2 we need to grant the owner role permission and then we need to click on done. And finally on the new created services we click then on this three dots under the actions and then click on manage keys. Here in the tab keys click on add key then we create a key and make sure that you have selected JSON. And then click here on create to download our JSON key. Now in the cloud platform here inside the search box we will search for Google Play Android Developer API and then we will select it from the list to make sure the API is enabled here. After that we will go back to our Google Play console in the API access section in the service accounts and then click on the grant permission button and from here make sure to grant these permissions. And after that we need to click on invite user button to send invitation. After that as per the Glassify documentation in this section we need to click on this link and then click on next to enable the cloud pop or sub API. Now inside the Glassify account we need to go to the settings page then go down to the Android package and give our Android package here. Notice that for getting our Android package we can go to the Android then app then open the build.gradle file and then from here you can find your Android package. After that we need to add the JSON file 
file here which we have downloaded already in the previous steps now we will click on this button here and then after that we will copy this generated google topic id and next i will open the google play console and then from all app section i will select my app and after that i will go to the monetization setup and then we need to paste the topic id here and press on save changes so as you can see i have already done this step important to notice that can now take up to 36 hours for the steps about to take effect all right the next step is configuring our products inside our store therefore in the google play console we will go back to the dashboard of our app then we go here basically down to the product section and here you see enough products and the subscription and we want to get started to configure some subscription let's get started by creating some subscriptions first of all we need to supply here a product ID and this product ID cannot be changed or cannot be reused and it is need to be unique between all of your application in my case I will put here my product ID and also a name for my product and then click on the create button now in this page we need to click on this add subscriptions benefit link to give a description for our product because it will be later shown in our application and then we press on save changes after that we will go back to our specific subscription page and then click on add a base plant link and then here first we will give a specific base plan id then we will choose the auto renewing type from here and after that here we can select a billing period like we can choose here monthly and i also want to set a price therefore first we will choose all the countries from here because each country has other currencies and so on then we can simply click on set price button to give a price for our monthly subscription like this and after that click on update button and lastly make sure to click on activate and now this subscription is activated so we can go from here back at the top of our subscriptions and then you can see our subscription is listed here same way i have also created already a yearly subscription which you can see it is listed here Alright, these two subscriptions that we have created here will be then displaying exactly within our application with all details in this paywall which we have created. The next step is to configure our products with the glass file. Therefore, we go up and then go to our product section here. And now, firstly, we need to create SKUs by clicking here. Then, inside this, first, we will give a SKU ID for our monthly subscription. And after that, as we have our products inside the Google Play Store, therefore we will click on add play store products and then from here we will choose subscriptions and give our monthly subscriptions id here which is the same id for our subscription in our google play console for our monthly plan after that we will click on save to create our monthly subscription next we will do the same and create another SKU for our yearly subscription here in our glass file after that we will go down here and then create offer for our monthly subscription and also for our yearly subscription with a specific identifier and a description which will be later displaying on our application lastly we need to create permissions for our both subscriptions monthly and yearly with an identifier and also a description now it's time to display our subscriptions in our application therefore let's get started with this elevated button that i have created and if we press on it then we go inside this fetch offers method and then here inside we want to fetch then all the offers all the products that we want to sell to our users and therefore inside our purchase api class we create then fetch our offers our products method and therefore we simply call this flatter glass file package and here we have this offerings method which with this we get then all the offerings that we want to show them in our ui so we will return all of our offers here and in case we don't have any offers here then we want to return an empty list and lastly we want to check if here are any errors occurring while we are fetching our product all right and finally we will go back to our this page so we have now all our offers and from this we will get only the offer that has the all courses offering id which we have defined it in our glass file dashboard so now i will pass my 
offer here inside this paywall which I have already created it which then we can show our product details here inside this custom paywall. Now if we click on our button here you can see we are opening a button sheet which is displaying all of our products. In case if you want to test out the Ena purchases app within your emulator then you need to make sure that your emulator that you choose has the play store activated and secondly to test it out on your emulator make also sure that you are assigned in within the play store with your account next we want to purchase a product that we have now displayed here within our paywall and this is basically the next step of the classify documentation therefore we will go to our paywall and then if we click on one product then we are going here inside this callback which is getting the product which we have clicked and now we want to call here our purchase api and here we want to create a new method purchase screw and we put the screw itself inside which is exactly our product we click on it and after we have then made our purchase we also want to hide then this bottom sheet so that we show again the normal view all right let's go to the purchase api class and then create our purchase screw method and here inside we return then our class 5 package the purchase screw method and put our SQL here inside and in case if there is any error we want to return here now and that's it so let's try it out i click here on this product and you see then this dialog which is displaying the information of our product that we can buy and as you notice we have a test card because right now we are here inside of a testing mode and we are buying here a subscription which is then charging every 5 minutes this amount because we are here inside of the testing mode and therefore the times are also more quickly so instead of a month we wait only for 5 minutes and finally we can then click here on one tab buy and if you have the test card enabled then you also wouldn't be charged so simply click on it and now we have subscribed to this product and by the way if you want to make here this test purchase with this test card and instead of a real purchase then you also need to do some configuration inside of your google play console therefore go here down to the setup section and then to license testing and here you need to put then the email address inside of the user that is the test purchases so in my case i simply take this email address that i also have configured here within this play store also make sure to click here then enter and then you can click on save changes and click on save and secondly you also need to go to your app itself and then you need to go here to the testing area and you go to the close testing create then from here a new track with a name and click on create track then scroll here all the way down to the testers tab and here you can then create an email list of your testers which i'm giving some name here and also add here your email address and here you need to click on save changes after this you can scroll here a bit down and now you need to join here also your test and i simply copy here the link of the web and paste it into the browser and after that you can click on the button to become a tester all right after that you can see here this message that you're a tester in case you face a problem that you cannot join the tester with this link then make sure that you wait up to one one day and this then solve your issue in most of the cases in glassify we can also see this purchases simply go to the dashboard and then go down to the page and here you see that we have an app user with this id and he has made a purchase monthly subscription if you click on this to go inside you can see more details about this purchase like how much he paid and so on all right now we made the purchase and after we have made the purchase then we also want to unlock some features for the user so in my case i want to display here then a text to show to the user whether he is in free plan or on paid plan and to give our user some special access after he has made some purchases then we simply go to the next step which is the check permission status in your app so in my case here when the user click on any product to purchase first i will check whether the transaction is not null and then i will get all the permissions which i have defined them in my glass 5 project 
and out of that I will get the premium permission and after that I will give the premium access to the user. And for this I am using the provider package here which I have already defined a method to give a user the premium access. And now in this page I have already created this method which is getting the premium value from my provider class and based on this value I will show to the user whether he is on free plan or on paid plan. So far we have handled the in-app subscriptions and next we want to handle also in-app purchases which are made on one time basis and in this case case I want to simply buy a product and then we want to give to the user some coins that he can then spend inside of our application. First of all we need to go to our google play console and here we scroll then down to the section products and this time we go inside the section in a product and now we can click here on create product to create a product that the user can buy one time. So again like before with subscription make sure to choose here a product id that is unique inside of your whole google play console account. Next you need to scroll here down then you need to give a name and also a description. So I call it here 10 coins that the user can buy. So lastly you can then click on set price so in my case I will give it here price of 9 euros and then you can click on apply prices. Make sure to click on save and then also click on activate. And now if we go back here to our in-app products then you should see that we have this activate 10 coins. After this go back to the glassify and here you go then to the product section and now we need to add here our 10 coins product that we have created in our google play console. Therefore I click here on create SKU and then here define a SKU id and then from here choose the in-app purchase this time. And after that paste the product id of your 10 coins which is available in our google play console. And lastly click on save. This time we don't need to give any permission because these are coins that the user can later use within our application to buy then something inside of the application itself. Instead what we will do is create another offer for our 10 coins product with a specific identifier and also a description. Alright now in our second page of our application if I click here on this get more coins button then we call here this fetch offers method and here I have basically copied the whole implementation of what we have done before with our subscriptions. And this time we will get the offer with the id of 10 coins which we have defined it in our glass file and then pass it in our paywall widget. So now if we click on this button you can see our bottom sheet is opening and it is displaying our 10 coins product. And now we also want to purchase our coin if we click here on this product. And after that if we purchase it we want to get 10 coins by calling this method which we have defined it here in our provider class. So now let's try it out and click on this 10 coins product and now you can see I make this one time payment to buy the coins and you see then here immediately we have our 10 coins here.